So I was on Twitter. I'm on Twitter a lot. You can follow me over here. And I tweeted this thing out without really thinking about it. And that's how tweets go. And it resonated with a lot of people. So I figured I'd do a video on it. What I said was, you'll never really know if people are telling you the truth about your product that you're building until you ask them to swipe the credit card or sign the purchase order. Until money is transacted, you're never really, really, really gonna know if your product is solving an important problem, an urgent problem, a problem that they're willing to spend money on, budget on. You're never really gonna know. I don't know about you, but in my startup journey, I've gone through months, if not years, of building products that people said, oh my God, that's cool. But when it really came down to it, when it came down to the transaction of spending money, which is probably the most scarce asset for them, they, I didn't really know if it was gonna make it. I didn't, like, you just don't know. And so I learned the hard way that there's only really one way to validate your startup idea. And in this episode, I'm gonna dig into the three steps, the three principles that you need to follow that you can use to actually validate your startup idea. And that way you'll avoid wasting months on building the wrong product that people say they want, but don't really want. Intro. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Unstoppable. I'm TK, and on this channel, I help SaaS founders like you grow your SaaS businesses faster with an unstoppable strategy. If you are new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell icon. I drop a video like this with actionable strategies and tactics to grow your SaaS business three times a week with the TK energy. Now, if you're already part of our community, if you're part of my SaaS go-to-market coaching program or my SaaS start program, welcome back. It's really awesome to see you over here, seriously. I remember I was working on an idea called Brain Trust. Now on this channel, I talk about HipCal, the first SaaS business I ever did. I talk about Plaxo, they bought us. I talk about Plaxo, which sold to Comcast. I talk about Telrap, my last SaaS business, which I sold. I talk about Marketo, where I worked. The Marketo bought Telrap, and then we sold that to Adobe. Four SaaS businesses all exited. I talk about them a lot, but there's one SaaS business that I don't talk about. It's called Brain Trust. And brain trust is something I worked on before Tout for nearly two years. It was nights and weekends. I would literally wake up at 6 a.m., work on it for a few hours and go into work. And I would come back and in the evening I would work on it again. And that went on for probably about two years time. As I was building it out, people kept saying, oh my God, this is really cool. This is awesome. And I'd be like, and I would do the customer discovery and the customer research on, hey, if this happened and this happened, is this a problem? And they'd be like, yeah, totally. But Ultimately, when it came down to paying for the product, when it came down to monetizing the product, when it came down to driving engagement and activation on the product, it didn't go anywhere. People said it was cool, people thought they wanted it, but when it really came down to it, people didn't really want it. Now, don't get me wrong, it wasn't because I didn't go through customer discovery or validating the idea, it wasn't that. And it wasn't because people said it was terrible, like people said it was great, it was because I took them at their word. Instead of doing the one thing that mattered the most, I didn't ask them for money. I didn't say, okay, cool, sign right here and then you can use the product. And that was the only way that I was gonna be able to validate it. Now, you might be saying, okay, how do I do that if I don't have a product built yet? What are the steps to follow? So I learned this the hard way and then eventually I changed my ways and that's why ToutUp was born. I don't regret brain trust at all because it taught me a whole bunch of things around sales and marketing and building SaaS businesses truly that helped make ToutUp possible. And so I'm gonna walk you through the three principles, the three steps that you can follow to validate your SaaS startup idea using landing pages and a lean UX process, lean UX model. I'm gonna dig right into it, the three steps to follow. So if you're excited to dig in, go ahead and smash that like button and let's dig right into it. So the first thing you wanna do is you really wanna hone in on the problem, the who, the who you're serving and the problem. Great SaaS ideas solve an urgent and important problem, and these people that have this urgent and important problem have budget to put towards this urgent and important problem. I'm gonna put this up again. Feel free to take a screenshot, feel free to write this down. Stress test this around the SaaS idea that you're working on validating. It needs to be an urgent problem, an important problem, and they have to have budget allocated towards this problem. And that's how you know you have a market to actually go after. You have an audience of people to actually go build. And you have a thesis on how you're gonna to get to product market fit, a product that solves this urgent and important problem and can extract out this budget. That's how you get to product market fit. So that's step number one. What you really need to figure out before you do anything else, landing pages or anything, 
before you do customer discovery, get to your thesis and what is the urgent and important problem that people have budget allocated for. A lot of times, this is gonna be dumb problems. You're gonna look at it like this is not revolutionary, this is not impactful. And sometimes we as startup founders, we think like this problem's not big enough. But the truth is, if you can solve some of the small problems, you earn the right to solve some of the bigger problems that you can convince them to pay for over time. And so it's super important for you to really hone in on a step one, what is the urgent, important problem that has budget that you can go actually focus on. Once you've done that, the second thing you wanna do before you write a line of code, all of this is before you write a line of code. On my podcast, I run a podcast now called Sass and Scotch. It's a lot of fun. I interview Sass founders, I'll link to it below. I was, I was interviewing a founder and he was a second time founder. I'm like, what is it that you do differently your second time? He's like, distribution. Distribution before anything else. Go to market before anything else. Distribution determines our product roadmap and I could not agree more with him. So before you do any writing of code, you need to validate your thesis. So you wanna do step number one. Step number two is you wanna develop your value proposition. What is the one sentence you can use to actually define your value proposition? Why do you exist? What does your product do? What does it solve? What are they gonna get? What is the core benefit? That's your value proposition. There's a very specific way to craft this. It's not complicated. There's a process to follow, but craft your value proposition. Once you craft your value proposition, it'll help you really distill down the thesis you have around the market you're going after with the urgent, important problem in the budget and how to get the attention of those people through your value proposition. Usually value propositions are one or two sentences for starters. And when you develop that, that'll at least help you have manual conversations. Now, at scale, you, a value proposition isn't enough. You need to have a proper strategic narrative. You need to have a proper funnel. But in this early stages, if you're pre-revenue, this is what you need to develop, just these two things. You don't need to overcomplicate it. Now, before I go to step number three, principle number three, this is where it all comes together with the landing page and the Lean UX model that you're gonna follow. Let me just pause here for a second. I want you to comment below with a yes if you're starting to get this. If you're starting to see the difference in approach here where it's not about writing a line of code, it's not about creating the product, it's first about really honing in on the market strategy and really honing in on the value prop. If you're starting to see the difference in approach here that's gonna save you months if not years from building the wrong product and help you get to product market fit faster and validate your product idea, can I just get a yes in the comments below? It just means the world to us, to me and my team. We wanna hear from you, so hit me with a yes down below. And while you're at it, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm if you haven't already. Also, one other thing. I have my SaaS go-to-market coaching program. This is for founders who have revenues and wanna figure out a way to go faster with a scalable go-to-market machine. There have been some founders that have approached me who are pre-revenue and they're saying, look, we kinda have a product, we don't have revenues yet, we wanna get into the go-to-market program. And I've had to turn them away in the past because I'm like, I'm sorry, just too early. But now I have my SaaS start program. This is for founders who are pre-revenue and need to validate their idea and get their first 25 paying customers. So it's a coaching program, super straightforward to get started. There's no application call required. I will tell you more about it at the end of this video, but let's go to principle number three now. This is where everything comes together in this process we're going through. And then I'll tell you about the SaaS start program. So the third thing you wanna do once you have the market identified, the group of people identified, and you have your simple value prop, is you actually wanna create what I call an unstoppable mini funnel. Unstoppable funnels are for scalable go-to-market machines. Unstoppable mini funnel is for validating your idea and getting your first 25 customers. So what you wanna do is you wanna create a landing page. And in that landing page, you actually wanna make sure that you put in your value prop that you determined. You wanna make sure you're driving traffic into that landing page with these people that you've identified. From that landing page, you wanna essentially collect people's email addresses into an email list. And from that email list, you wanna ask them for a phone call to actually talk strategy and about this problem. Simple stuff. But on the call, you're gonna try and pre-sell them on pilots for $1,000. That's it, $1,000. $1,000 is a good benchmark because if people are truly dealing with an important and urgent problem and they have budget, $1,000 is one, for a business is one of those things where they're like, okay, fine, you're gonna give us white glove service, you're gonna manually do this, we're gonna be early customers, and you give it to us for a deal for like free for a year after that, fine, sign me up, $1,000, here you go. If they're willing to put down $1,000 to get in on a pilot and work with you, and you're gonna put in your time, you're gonna develop the product, you're gonna get them in early, you're gonna get them white glove service, if they're willing to do that, then you're starting to validate that you may be onto an urgent, important problem, and they have the budget, they have at least $1,000 for it. If they don't even have $1,000 for it, it may not be an important or urgent enough problem. It may be kind of a nice to have, a vitamin instead of an actual painkiller. 
But if it is a painkiller, then they'll be like, okay, fine, here's a thousand dollars, work with us, like let's figure this out. We'll get in early and we'll we'll take a bet on you. And that's where the power really comes together. So to recap, if you really want to validate your idea using a landing page and the lean UX model, you really want to nail this, right? Uh, you want to first figure out what the market is. Urgent, important, has budget. Number two, you want to get your value proposition right. Then you want to feed that into your landing page. You want to be able to A-B test it. You want to be able to A-B test different value propositions as you're going through it. So you follow that lean methodology. Then you want to pull them into an email list. And you want to ask them for a phone call. And you, want, you want to see if you can sell them on a pilot of $1,000 or more. When you do this, you'll be able to make sure that you don't waste months building a product that no one wants. That people say it's cool because they're lying to you because until you ask them for a credit card or you tell them to actually sign the purchase order, you're not really gonna know if this is an urgent, important problem with budget. So now you know how to actually go about this process to actually validate your product idea, but you may not know how to do each of these different steps. You may not know how to really, really hone in on this urgent, important problem that has budget. You may not know how to develop your value proposition, that one, two sentence value proposition. You may not know how to create this unstoppable mini funnel with the landing page, the email list, and how to run these calls. You may not know these things. So this is why I created my SaaS start program. This is a brand new program. We just started onboarding founders into it. This is for founders who have not generated any revenues yet. They don't have a validated product in the market yet. This is for those founders. And this is why I created my SaaS start program. In the SaaS start program, we give you all the training you need to actually build out your core strategy, which is your market strategy. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to actually build out your value prop. And I'm gonna teach you how to build this unstoppable mini funnel to help you drive to your first 25 paying customers. Now, this program, you can enroll into right away. You get access to the training. You get access to a monthly coaching call with me where we do hot seats with all the other founders. So you and I can do a hot seat together and I'll answer your questions. I'll coach you on your progress. I'll give you feedback so you can, you can drive momentum and it'll guide you in actually validating your product and getting to your first paying customers, building your first version of the product without wasting months on building the wrong product. If you're interested in joining and learning more, go to tkcater.com slash start. Super simple to get started. I'll also link to it below so you can get more details. If you have questions or on the program, there's a little chat widget in the bottom right corner. In that chat widget, uh, you can just ask your questions. Either myself or a member of my team will respond and give you everything you need. And then boom, you just plug it in and you're in and then we'll, we're off to the races on validating your product and getting to your first 25 paying customers. That's our goal around the program. If you got value from this video, be sure to smash that like button if you haven't already. If you are new and haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell icon so that you'll get notified every single time I drop an episode like this. Now we talk about all things SaaS from starting a SaaS business to growing and scaling SaaS businesses, funding, go to market, all the key things. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. If you have a fellow founder, a co-founder that would get value from this, be sure to share this video with them and share this channel with them. We wanna spread the word. We wanna build this community of unstoppable SaaS founders. And it's been incredible working with you guys. So and remember, lastly, everyone needs a strategy for their life and their business. But when you are with us, yours is gonna be unstoppable. I'm TK. Go on over to tkk.com start and join the program. And I'll see you on the next coaching call. Have a great one.